Welcome to PW Music. I'm Dr. Patrick Engler, and we're back with the Rose Project. This is the tutorial video for Etude Number Eight. And again, we're using the Artistic Studies Book One by edited by David Height. So Etude Number Eight. This one is really more of a more of just a technical finger doodle than a lot of the other technical ones. So a lot of it is again just practicing it and getting it in the fingers. But some things to keep in mind. Um, with this articulation pattern, really anytime we're going anytime we have a staccato mixed with slurs, we're gonna talk about this. But you want to keep that beat even. And it's gonna be what you're gonna do is one of two things. Are you gonna jump off the staccato too quickly and speed it up at the beginning? Or the th three slurred notes, since it goes to a neighbor tone, it's going to be rushed. So we'll either get jumping off the staccato, or rushing the, tr the slur. Of course, you can probably get some combination of the two, which, whatever, you gotta practice. Um, but what you can do to avoid that is think of that staccato note a little bit longer. It's not just a short peck, but you can think of it a little bit longer and give it, a, give it its full time. It's already separated, so we don't need to make it super short to accentuate that. Additionally, the staccato note for in a lot of this etude, the staccato note is what's changing from beat to beat. It's showing the melodic progression, if you will. So let me see, where's a good example of that? 45 really shows a great example of this, since the three the slurred notes stay the same, whereas the staccato note changes, and that's what you want to accentuate even when the three notes follow what the staccato note changes. So we're not accentuating the slurred notes, you're accentuating the staccato note. So if you make that, first of all, a little fatter to keep it in time and give it a little bit more weight. So not accenting it, but not playing it weaker than the slurred notes that'll help show off the melody a little bit better as well. Now, before you get going too quickly, look ahead to measure 35, where we have the octaves. Those, if you get pushing a little bit too much, can pose a problem, since you're leaving over the break and removing more fingers suddenly after kind of keeping it in the same areas as we go through the etude. And then towards the end, we'll say measure 62, we have longer staccato passages. So again, don't rush up to there because that's where, that's where the crash will happen. Keep it in check and keep those, keep those staccatos nice and clean so we don't rush them. And then last thought at 62, you want to keep those staccatos previously fat like we were talking about so that you can keep this, keep a similar articulation once you get to these longer passages. So if we start at the beginning, like... A little bit fatter staccatos. Once we get to 62... You can keep those staccatos a little bit longer as well, make it sound a little bit better than just chicken chicken scratch. So that's about it for this one. Like I said before, it's a lot of practicing it, just getting in the fingers. So good luck and we'll see you in the next video.